the actuality presents how tesla coils actually work this is probably the most talked about invention in the 20th as well as in this century let us see why a tesla coil is an electrical resonant transformer circuit designed by inventor nikola tesla in 1891 it is used to produce high voltage low current high frequency alternating current electricity tesla experimented with a number of different configurations consisting of two or sometimes three coupled resonant electric circuits this is what the definition of a tesla coil sounds like but i don't bore you guys with this kind of stuff let me break this into simple words for you a tesla coil usually amplifies input current to an insane amount the sparks that you see around the tesla coil are thousand thousand volts of current passing through the air this is called a transformer it has two main sets of windings primary winding and secondary winding the difference in the number of turns in each winding determines if the voltage out will be higher or lower than the voltage in and by how much a tesla coil has very few turns on the primary input side and many turns on the secondary output side this increases the voltage tremendously and this is what we call a step up transformer when the voltage is applied the charge on the capacitor increases and so does the voltage across the capacitor but a tesla coil does much more than increase voltage it boosts the frequency the capacitor and spark gap work together to create a very high frequency pulse to drive the primary coil Once you create very high voltage electricity at a high frequency you can create a field of energy which might be capable of transmitting power all by itself Spark gap fires when the voltage across capacitor reaches the spark gap break down voltage The capacitor is now discharged through the spark gap and primary coil The magnetic field in the primary coil increases as the voltage across the capacitor decreases Now As the voltage across the capacitor falls to zero, the field in primary coil starts to collapse. Due to changing magnetic flux, a voltage is induced which recharges the capacitor. An alternating current is set up in the primary coil. The alternating current in the primary coil is transferred to the secondary coil. This is the same thing that happens in transformers. Mutual induction After a few cycles all of the power is transferred into the secondary coil the property of resonance is fundamental to the operation of tesla coils If you still find it difficult to understand how tesla coils work consider this example A good analogy is a garden swing If left to swing on its own it will do so at its resonant frequency only slowing down due to friction and gravity If you stand behind the swing and push it just as it swings away from you each time, it will get higher with each subsequent push. This is because you are adding power at and only at the correct time point in the swing cycle. You are therefore adding momentum at the same time interval as the swing's resonant frequency. This means the push you gave is in resonance with the swing. driving the circuit at its resonant frequency adds energy during each cycle by providing a succession of well timed pushes we can build up to extremely high voltages in the tesla coil a spark breaks out and discharges the circuit once the voltage is high enough the toroid and the secondary coil swap powers between them in the same way and at the same rate as the capacitor and the primary coil This matching of frequencies multiplies the induced voltage in the secondary coil. The toroid which is located on top of the coil acts like a capacitor with respect to the surrounding ground. Eventually, the voltage on the surface of the toroid at the top rises so high that the toroid's curved surface cannot retain the charge anymore and breakout occurs. This will either be a misty purple corona discharge or If all components are suitably balanced to one another, white is solid streamer down to earth or into the air. This process continues until there is no more power in the capacitor and primary coil. 
As now, there is not enough voltage to maintain the arc across this power gap, the arc extinguishes. This allows the capacitor to charge again and the whole process that I just explained repeats itself. After studying about this marvelous invention, I have always wanted to see it operate in front of my eyes. If you have made this or even seen one working, consider yourself extremely lucky. And that's a wrap guys, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button. If you want to see more videos, hit the subscribe button. And if you have something to say, please leave a comment in the comment section below. See you guys next Sunday with another wonderful video. Until then, I say goodbye with the hope that we will meet again next Sunday. Thank you for your time.